contribution to the development of our country and continent. He was a writer, a poet, a great mastery of language, whether English, or Chui, or Ga, and expressed so many of our feelings about our fate as Africans and as Ghanaians. I heard the news of his death with a lot of sadness and sorrow. I called the house and I had the opportunity to speak to Kloko. And uh, since you should extend my condolences to you. Uh, he's a, a big Ghanaian. And our nation will miss him. The continent will miss him because he had a reach that was beyond Ghana. All of us know about his commitment to the Pan-African project. So it allowed him to become long-time president of the Pan-African Writers Association. And he used this as a platform to talk positively about the possibilities for Africa and for Africans. He's an exceptional man, and uh, I'm really very unhappy to be here speaking to you like this. And then the Almighty has his plans for all of us. And clearly the time had come for him to go and meet his maker. Do the best we can to make sure he gets a, a dignified exit, befitting his standing. And whatever I can do from where I am as a friend to comfort you, make sure that uh, you and these wonderful, beautiful children that you made together uh, continue to be up there. I came here, the people who have just walked in, one of them is my sister. Chairman of the National Theatre Board, the Executive Director of the National Theatre Board, and from the Ministry of Tourism and Culture. So, our condolences. I can't. Chief Force is a shedding. 